Right, just because I haven't got enough boats, I bought a Honwave T35 AE3, which is the one with the aluminium floor. That's how it comes, that's the boat. The aluminium floor's in there. You get one seat with the boat, and then you get some accessories which are in here, which are basically pump repair kit for old use the electric pumps. You also get a gauge, which I've put somewhere, which I think is, I don't really use it, but um, there we are, we're going to pump it up today here, and then this is bought to go on my trailer, so it's going to be put, uh, permanently set up because it's a lot heavier than our usual boat, the IE 238 IE 2. This boat's going to go on that bunked trailer here. be kept on there so this is how it comes all rolled up in the factory there's the boat in the first bag if you just unroll that her indoors the front okay that's it just put that flat now if you get the side when I roll it back nice bubble wrap that is that's all right that's good enough that will uh, the pump will do that now what you do is you pump this up a little bit before you put the um, floor in right there are several valves on this um, floor and they're the Helky Roberts type 3.6 psi it says that's more than I thought quarter the bar and you must turn those and let those out as you'll pump it all up and it'll all go down. Right, to put a Helky Roberts connector in properly, this is the one way round, so when you twist it, it comes undone. So you put it in, keep the, make sure the string's out of the way, turn it to the left, and on this one you turn it back again to get the connector in so it doesn't fly out. So to make life easy with any inflatable boat, get yourself a small battery and some, I like the Itty Whip pumps, they're pretty good, takes all the hard work out, you just set them running, but you don't pump it up full at all yet, you get a bit of air in ready to put the floor in and you certainly don't pump the sausage peel up yet, so put just pump the tubes up until the boat starts to get a shape and then we'll put the floor in right her indoors is open the second bag which has got the floor in and hopefully the oars if not I don't know where I put them they'll be somewhere yep there are the oars sadly there's the seat, but the tight wads at Homewave only give you one seat, tight wads. But the seat for the T38, i.e. certainly the two and probably the three, will fit this boat. So you can see with the pumps it's starting to form its shape now. And on my open assistant air indoors, we're going to open the, um, the bits that go along that hold the floor in place and put all the bags out of the way. This boat's quite easy to set up when it's new, but if you try using this one on a daily setup, it can end in divorce. It's quite, when it gets gritty, the floor and that, but the floor is a much better finished product than the high pressure floor of the IE2 or IE3. But the AE is better than for fishing or if you're having a permanent setup on a trailer, which this one will be. Right, that is nearly enough initial air in that bit and then we'll put some in the front lovely day today so this boat's a class C boat very capable boat it's got three air chambers that side this side and then the front and on a fourth chamber which is a chamber which is the sausage for the sausage peel put the 
stopped um, the side fuse from being pumped up and now pumping up the uh, front chamber and you see it's quite loose so it makes it easier to get the floor in. So you can see the front section is now coming up. No indoors is unwrapped close to the floor. Here's the side channel bit. Right, well I reckon that's pumped up uh, hard enough to get the floor in. Now there is an order to the floor, the parts are numbered, look, four, three, two, and one. But it's important that you put them in, in sort of a, I suppose a V shape. So you then have the bits, two bits like that, and you push down, which forces it into place having put the sides bits in. So me and Owen Doors have spent quite a wrestle getting the four bits in and really really honestly if you buy want a boat for a daily setup or taking your car don't buy this one buy the T38 because you can see how I'm puffing I'm not fit I admit but getting this floor in is horrible isn't it Catherine? It is. It is. How easy is the other one? Simple. So what you now do is you get that in like that. In a minute we're going to push on there, making sure we don't nip any of the tubes each side. You see? Okay. Bring you back when we've done it. This is the uh, side runner and that is the groove that the floor goes in and they have to straddle the join in the floor. So you get two short ones like this and two long ones that we've already put in the boat. Now they go, not with the caterpillar, they go on this side, so that bit is against the boat tube. So in other words, this side goes in like that, and the other side We'll go inside the boat in that orientation. When it's new, these are still hard to get in, but you get a bit of sand and grit in them, and my goodness. I'll reiterate, don't buy this boat if it's your daily setup. Getting these in really is not easy. And I can't imagine doing this. We've got perfect conditions here. Grass, a lovely summer's day, but doing this, at a busy place where there's grit and gravel I think is not impossible. If you look at the instructions here it actually tells you to straddle the long and the short which is odd but we're nearly there. As you see a bit of fairy liquid in the grooves really helps and when you put these back ones in put them in forwards in that direction and then knock them back to the transom because you just can't get them in because of the boat bend. We're getting there. Well that is the floor in, but I reckon that took us three quarters of an hour to get that in and it's horrible. You're knackered, you hurt your knees, and you get upset with her indoors. No, not really. So I think these alley floor boats are really for a setup, keep on a trailer, or not setting up all the time, it's horrible. Once up, they're lovely, heavier than the T38 IE, but very good boats nonetheless. Now we've got the uh, boat blown up. It actually says that the tubes, the three chamber tubes, should be to 3.6 PSI or 0.25 bar. I always think that's a little bit too much, if I'm honest, and I keep it down from that says that the sausage goes to 5.1 psi uh, so we'll, put, we'll do that a little bit less because the heat makes these expand stream special trailer for inflatable boats which i've had some time get the credit off where the shit's been on it shizzing it shizzing it and we're going to get that on here because this is where it's going to live 
Check we. Ready, Owen Doors? Ready and waiting. She fits nicely on this trailer, but that pad's got to come up so it touches on the back of the transom. So on the trailer, this with the motor on it, and at the side here, that front pad needs to drop down a little bit to allow those to seal up. And this whole front bit can just go forwards towards the boat so that pad touches the boat and job should be a good one yeah it looks like stream set the trailer up wrong with the short one at the back here and the long one in the middle well it needed to be the long one at the back and the short one at the middle not a biggie but uh, that was interesting now Honwave in the infinite wisdom put those little eyes on the inside which I imagine for lifting on davits but for using it as a sieve, you really want them on the outside. So I move them to there, and they assist also with strapping the boat down. Shikri. So if you do uh, reverse the lifting eyes like that, make sure you seal, because you do expose a bit of the bare wood if you can't sink it, which you need to do. And just mix a little bit of epoxy. I use just five minute epoxy just to seal the wood, just to guard against rot. All right, there they are reversed. So nice and I'll put a short strap down to the uh, frame of the trailer and that'll be what holds the boat on the trailer. Three boats, the um, oars go inside like that and you've got the wallets here but you've got no fixing here but actually they lay flat and you don't need it. So that's how I strap it down. Just with a little ratchet strap with a bit of um, EVA foam uh, to protect it, fixed to the strap metal. And there she is set up on Wave 235 AE3 on an extreme um, inflatable boat trailer. All pretty good, I'm pleased with that. At the front, I just loosely ratchet the hook onto there. I'll hold that on there, no problems at all. Shikri. And here she is, finished and on the trailer. Just got to put the bench in and put some softened bits on the bench and uh, get the engine on and a few other bits, which is not a big job, but that'll do it today. There she is, sitting on the trailer. I'll put a ridge up, which is just a piece of wood which goes to the transom on a razor the ducks back over, keep a nice